called uppercase. If you wanted to change the the color of your text, select your pick tool and just go in here and change colors. If you want to do a quick outline, you could use this bottom toolbox here and you could click it here and do a click quick outline. I don't do mines that way. That's why in the first video we set our outline tool up here so that we could do our outlines and this is how we do it really fast. If you want to change the color of that outline, there we go. Come on, okay. I have no idea what happened there, but let's keep going. We want to change the, um, let's go back in and take that outline off. Whenever you select your font, let's deselect it. Now you notice up here you won't see a font, but once you select it, your font, your wording, you'll see the font list. And the first five fonts are listed here. In you can change that and use your last used uh, fonts, which you could go, I only have mine set to use 5, you could use 10, 20, however many, but this, these are the fonts. Um, one thing you want to know about your fonts is when you install too many fonts on in Corel, maybe, you know, you get to about 500 of them, your computer will slow down, so go into the fonts going to settings, click allow fonts to be installed from shortcut, and install your fonts on your desktop or in a file somewhere, and it just install them as a shortcut, it will not slow your computer down. That's something that I love about the program that we can do. So we have Bada Boom here, and I'm just going to show you real fast some things we can do with the circle. Let's take the Eclipse tool. Let's kind of spread this out if we wanted this to take shape. Select your text. Go to the top. Hit Align Text to Path. You see that? You'll see it in vector format. You can... There we go. Okay. You can go up to the top here change the form of your circles. We use circles a lot, so that's one text effect that we can do. Now we're going to go back and we're going to break this up. Break the text apart. If we wanted to straighten the text, we'll go to text and we just align our text back to the baseline. That didn't work too good. straighten the text. Sorry about that folks. So we went back in, we straightened our text up and let's see what else we can do. Let's go over here. Oh, there's an envelope tool. Now with this envelope tool you can make cool shapes. Here's 
another tool that you'll find handy that I use all the time would be the contour tool. The contour tool you can add different layers to your text and here is how the contour tool works. I'm going to select a color. This takes your color to the center, to the inside, and to the outside. The one we use a lot will be this one right here. Now, this is the contour steps tool. And you raise this up, you have more, more contour. So you have three levels behind here, which would be three different shades. This works with the thickness of the contour. Going to make ours nice, bright, and thick so that you can see what's going on here. Now we're going to go in. We're going to break this apart. Don't worry, this looks a mess right now, but it won't in a second. Take that first layer and, whoop, did I break it up? Nope, I didn't. So I'm group all. Here we go. Now every layer in this contour is ungrouped. And what I do, I want to take that last layer, I'm going to leave it here, it's already in Cheyenne, so I'm going to leave that blue, take the second layer and let's make it um, yellow. the last layer and take it in here and I like to put a little white in between there so let's try white. There we go. So now we have our color effect and you can go in and change those colors once you print them but this is just in order for us to see you know how to break this down. So let's go to our print menu and because we did this in CMYK we should be able to separate and let's click print separations. Now let's see what colors we have. We have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And do we have those? Nope, we don't. So something is going on. Let's click here and see. Let's do a print preview on the cyan. Hmm. Something's not right. Let's go back to our, okay, let's make sure that's it right there, folks. You see that? We've got an RGB color selected for black, and this is the RGB, so we need to go over and, oops, select Cheyenne. Just take that out of there. Just removed by mistake. Okay, now there's our black. And I don't know if you saw that get darker or not. But there we go. Okay, now let's go in and print this real fast. Separations. Before we run out of time. And there are our separations. Let's go in and click here. that so we're just going to go ahead and do the print preview. Cyan, yellow, and black. And if we had a little bit more time we would have added registration marks. But I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Miss T with the t-shirt shop.